I really tried to give WWE another shot tonight. Tonight was money in the bank. I thought, hmm, you know, stars are going to be made. Legends going to happen, right? <laughs> nope. Same shit and asinine stuff. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole pay-per-view and talk about it. Because as of the night I'm recording this, it's still the same night that the pay-per-view just happened. Like, it literally just got over. So, I'll give you guys a little bit of, you know, a picture, if you will. An image of what happened at the end of Money in the Bank, okay? So, we're about, almost about the end of the pay-per-view. Money in the Bank uh, match is happening for the men's. And it's where Ali's about to, you know, climb the ladder. Everybody's down. Ali's reaching for the briefcase. All of a sudden, Brock Lesnar's music hits. Go figure. Lesnar's just to compete in everything. And fucking runs down. Fucking knocks Ali off. And decides, oh, you know what? I knocked this guy off. Money in the bank briefcase. Free WWE title shot or universal title shot. Climbs up the fucking ladder and steals it. Hmm. Yeah, that's nice, WWE. That's real nice. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, wait, what happened to where there's only supposed to be eight men in this match, right? So, apparently Sammy got taken out. Strowman says, no, it wasn't me. Strowman gets booted from the building. There's your answer for that one. Here's where my major, major beef is with WWE lately. And I've noticed a lot of people are seeing this, too, because... Well, ratings are going down, their viewership's going down, and a lot of people are getting pissed over the internet about this, okay? So, WWE lately does not know how to book their own damn product. I'm being real here. Because let's let, let's look at this for a minute, alright? Their next pay-per-view is in a Saudi show. Look how many of those they've had, and how many of them have gone... And I have a feeling this one's going to be the same. Because why? Oh, you've got Goldberg versus The Undertaker. First time ever. You could have had that when they were both in their fucking prime. But now you got Taker who's literally in his 50s. Goldberg's aged, but he's still old right now. I don't know exactly offhand how old. But you didn't do it when they were in their prime. Yet you do this now when they're both old. And then another... Match for the Saudi show. Hmm. Randy Orton versus Triple H. Where have we seen that before? Yet you're going to have it where Triple H, a man who's nearly 49, fucking wrestle. Oh, boy. And then there's more and more, but I'm going to let you guys look that up yourselves. Because I'm pissed about this, I won't lie. The reason why I went to cover this is because, again... WWE does not know how to book their own damn product, for one. Two, I think AEW is going to beat them when they finally debut. Thank God for that one, because let's face it, AEW is going to be the only fucking saving grace when it comes to some wrestling promotions. I say some because there are some out there that are still good. For example, New Japan Pro Wrestling, which is another one. But WWE lately? Nah. They're killing themselves. They need to stop while they're ahead. That's it. I'm out. I'm going to probably open a beer before I go to bed because that's I just watched that shit show and I'm done with it. Peace.